The number you have dialed has been changed. The new number is... Hey, Kev. Um, hmm. I met you years ago in uh, the Scottish Embassy, or the Scottish... Uh, what was it? The Scottish Scottish consulate in the at the, the either Scottish camp or consulate. congress, yeah. Scottish consulate, yeah. yeah. Great, what an experience! But you are mm. from a hackerspace somewhere in Aberdeen, I thought. Yeah, in in Aberdeen in Scotland. So um, most of the most of the people, well, yeah, most of the people in the Scottish consulate are all from the same hack lab. So we're the fifty seven North Hack Lab in Aberdeen, uh, in the northeast of Scotland. So I think we've been going for... Where is it? It's in the northeast of Scotland, so on the east coast. Uh, well, the, the Hack Labs have 57 North, and that's because that's the... 57 North. 57 North, yeah. And that's the either latitude or longitude. I always get them mixed up, so whichever one it is. Um, we're the same as St. Petersburg. <laughs> Okay, uh, how did you get there? At the, the name is the location, but then what is the story about your origin? Yeah, I mean, it was uh, there was a few people from the University of Aberdeen originally that kind of had left the university but wanted to start up a kind of community hack lab space. So they got together with a few other people from that were just interested in technology in the city, uh, and then they decided to rent a space to have tools in to you know have have a community space that people could go in and actually use the use the shared tooling of it so they set up that was about four or five years ago um and it's just it's basically it ended up as a members organization where we i think a similar thing to most hack labs we just recycle the membership fees into rent um if we end up with a little bit more money we'll buy some tooling yeah. and stuff but a lot of the tooling's then donated by the membership or other people to the space Okay, uh, what what are you guys known for? Is there something special to know about uh, Fifty Seven North? Yeah, we don't. I don't think we have anything special. We don't have so many like large combined projects that we work on. A lot of us work on kind of individual projects, or we'll get involved with with different things. Um, so the I don't know what's the what, what do I I mean I could say what I'm what I'm involved with in terms of uh, this is one of them is actually like a German project called sensor.community which is a air quality sensor project so like a citizen science air quality sensor project where we we build uh, air quality sensors to go up around areas so i've been involved with the project with that which i've kind of run from the hack lab doing workshops building the sensors and supporting the the local sensors to be able to feed back data into a global data set so there's things like that that we do um in terms of the other things, a lot of it's around tooling. So we have like 3D printers, we'll have like solar stations or like things for doing electronics and things like that. So a lot of little microcontroller projects and, and whatnot. So super, super. And where can we find uh, your place then exactly? Well, the, okay, the, the physical location, um, we've we've been through a, diff a few different spaces. Uh, the last one we went into, um, we've actually come in under a charity. There's, there's quite a lot of office space that's been kind of developed for innovation parks, which have never really been utilized in Aberdeen. Um, but getting charities in gives certain rates relief. So it gives them a, a cheaper... It, it, people want charities in your building because it essentially kind of saves you on expenses from having an empty building so we've come in under a charity into a space which has given us quite a large space to work with um so we've been able to kind of expand okay. what we have but it's a bit of a worry because if we have to move out we wouldn't be able to afford a space this size which would cause us problems with the amount of kit that we have so um so at the moment we're outside the city in an innovation park so you need kind of it's not so easy to get through to public transport um, but Aberdeen's not a large city, so it's not actually too far if you want to get here. How many how many members do you have there? Uh... Um, we float between, in paying members, we kind of float between about 18, 20, somewhere around about that. Um, so there's there's not a lot of membership, but there's yeah. we don't we don't really have a big outlay cost, so we can kind of get by with that. Um, it doesn't give us much money to kind of do much more with, but it keeps the space going. We end uh, and up when do you guys eight, meet? Yeah, yeah. Before COVID, we would meet every uh, Tuesday in the space. Uh, so we have like the Tuesday open day, so anybody can come along. 
Um, once COVID hit, obviously everything shut down. So we actually moved it online. So now we do online meetings in, in a pla- on a platform called Work Adventure, uh, where we'll, we'll meet online. So we actually have that every Tuesday online. Um, you mentioned earlier the Scottish Consulate. So this is a this is a group of us that go away to hackers' conventions. So we do every Friday. We actually have a Scottish Consulate meetup um, on the same online platform, which has given us okay. the ability to actually meet together as that group quite regularly, which we weren't doing before COVID. Oh, super, man! Uh, uh, how do I uh, find you then now uh, if I want to join? Yeah, uh, fifty seven North org uk. I'm quite sure that's the that's the address of the the hack lab. So we've we've got a website that gives you all the details of where we are, a little bit of the the projects that's going on. So we've got a wiki on the back end of that. Um, we also have a mailing list uh, that we put out on that. Um, and you can find us on IRC. A lot of the a lot of the connections that we have we're on Freenode fifty seven North on Freenode is a channel. We're there as well. Um, but you can find us if you go to the website. You can find the details for the different ways of communication we have, like mailing list and other things. What is so special <laughs> about fifty seven North? What's so special about fifty seven North? I don't know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say there's anything so special about fifty seven North. Um, the like one of I think one of the things is that we we do have a number of members who are quite keen to go out and just actually just try and do stuff. So we have a we have a Scottish hacker camp that we do every year um, called Campground. So actually, last year and this year, it's in yes. May, so it's the end of this month. Um, so we've got Campground happening. So we're, we're doing it online again this year. If I would, if I would, uh, if you could recommend another hackerspace that we should visit, that we should put the light on, is there is there one that pops up? Um, well, I mean, I'm well, I might be a little bit biased. I would definitely say if you haven't go and go and have a visit a tog in Dublin. Um, the the Irish Dublin guys are really good. Um, find out about them and see what they're doing. Like. They're, uh, they're how, how is it called? T- Tog, T-O-G. Uh, if you go to tog.ie, T-O-G.ie, you can find the details there. But yeah, go and give those guys a, a look at because they're really interesting. <laughs> hey, thank you, uh, Kev. Thank you for taking your time. And thank you for mixing up the hours. <laughs> yeah, well, not, <laughs> not so bad, actually. I got here, so I was, I was able to do it. Um, but no, thanks for having me and thanks for kind of finding out a little bit more about us.